Okay, welcome to uh, a MuScore video for Year 7. Hope you guys are doing well in isolation and hope to see you back at school soon. Okay, I'm going to take you through how to get your MuScore set up. So this video will take you all the way through. So first thing you do is you go to Classroom. Okay, now you find this link over here which says MuScore. Okay, you click that. You download it, put it on your hard drive. Make sure you're downloading either the PC one or the Mac one. Okay, so you can see here it should start downloading down the bottom of my screen. Okay, I'm going to cancel it because I already have the program. Uh, make sure you're downloading it for Mac or for Windows. Uh, that's important. All right, once the program has downloaded, uh, you need to open it up and it will look something like this. Okay. All right. Once you've got MuScore downloaded on your computer, you need to go back to Classroom and you need to download this compressed, uh, it's called a template. Okay. This is your assignment that you're going to be completing. So, you click over here, um, download, and it will appear usually at the bottom of your screen or in your downloads column. So you click here, I'm going to go show in Finder, so it should come up in my Finder, All right, and there it is there. And I'm going to double click on it, and it's going to open up in MuseScore. Now if it doesn't open automatically, you can put a right click, and you go open with, and then hopefully MuseScore will pick up there, and otherwise you might have to find MuseScore, but you need to open it with MuseScore and it will pop up. All right, so this is actually your assignment. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click here, okay? And you're going to delete all this and you're just gonna put your name. So, there you go. So you put your name there and probably your class as well. Now, after that, you're going to copy these left-hand chords, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to click the first note of the first chord. This is a chord here because there are three notes there. One, two, three. So you're going to click just one of the notes, doesn't matter which one. You're going to hold the button that says shift down. And whilst you're holding shift down, you're going to press arrow to the right, so arrow across to the right. One, two, three times. And you can see it's highlighted now. Now you're going to copy that. So you're gonna hit, if you've got a Mac, it's con Command C is copy. And you're gonna click there, and you're gonna click Paste, which is Command V. You're gonna do it again, Paste. And one more time, Paste. Now, in the last chord, you need to click just one of the notes in the last chord, and you need to hold the button shift, and you need to press the arrow down. So I'll repeat that. You click one of the notes in the chord for the last chord, because the last chord's wrong. We hold shift, we press down, and then we, move, um, we delete it. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a C chord and we're going to paste it there because the song finishes on C. So we're going to find this is a C chord here. We're going to move down. We're going to hold shift. We're going to press the arrow down. And then we're going to copy that, which is command C. And we're going to click here. It's going to turn blue. And this is where we're going to paste it by pressing command V. All right. Once we've done that, we're going to go up here to the top corner. And this is save, okay? So we're actually gonna save that. So now it's locked in. So you've done the bottom part now of your assignment and you're not gonna touch that for the, you. Um, this is, everyone's bottom part should look like this now and you shouldn't change it. The next thing you're going to do is you're gonna start your right hand melody. So, um, the, first of all we're gonna pick what note we're gonna start on. So this is a, a, a long note which looks like this. Okay, or we can start on a minimum, which looks like this. 
or we can start on a crotchet which is a bit shorter or we can start with really short notes which are quavers so ta 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 ta, -ta. okay now I'm just going to go back to the beginning by pressing undo whoops which is redo see these arrows here up the top they're really good because if you make a mistake like I just did then you can just go back and forward so this is undo and this is redo okay so if you make a mistake just click the arrow back and you can undo it so I'm gonna start with a black note today and you have to start on the letter C so it has to be middle C now this is a C here so if, I'll do that again if I I'm gonna start here so I click here it turns blue I'm gonna click that note and then I'm gonna press the letter C now this is a C but we need a C that's lower than that so we actually need this C down the bottom so you can see now there's two notes happening at the same time so we don't want that so we're gonna press escape to get out of note mode we're gonna click the top note and we're gonna click backspace okay so we've deleted the top note so what we're going to do is we're going to click to the button next to it and we're going to press the letter D on the keyboard. Oops, undo. Alright, so that's a letter D. Now I'm going to press the letter E. I can do it using the mouse or you can use it by pressing the button E on the keyboard. Next I'm going to put an F and a G and then I'm going to change my note up the top and I'm going to put a long G. And then I'm going to press escape, okay, it's because I don't want to put any more notes in. I just want to see what I've got now. So I'm going to have a quick listen. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that, okay. Sounds good. It sounds sweet, and it's got a nice um, contour, which means it's got a nice shape to it. So it's easy to listen to, and you can sing it back. Okay, so da 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 da. So I, I'm going to keep that because I really like that melody. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy it. So what I'm do is I'm going to press the first note I want to copy, hold down shift, and I'm going to click the last note I want to copy, and click. So now the whole box turns blue. I'm going to press Command C, and I'm going to press Command V over here. So now I've copied it to save a bit of time but this time to change it up a bit I'm gonna press the arrow up and arrow up okay so now the whole thing's moved up a couple of notes now see this hashtag we're not using hashtags in the assignment um, that that means sharp so if, um, we're just gonna delete that because we're not using any hashtags <coughs> let's have a listen to how it sounds now Okay, nice. So what I'm going to do is, just to change it up a bit, I'm going to change a couple of these notes into shorter notes because I just want it to sound a little bit, I want this phrase to sound different to this phrase because they sound a little bit similar. As you can see, they have the same length of notes and they're all going in the same direction. Da, 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 da. So I'm going to change a couple of these. I'm going to click this note here. I'll blow it up for you. I'm going to click this note here and I'm going to change that to minims. So you can see now this note has been shortened to a, a sorry, um, a quaver, sorry, not a minim, a quaver. And you've got a rest here. So to fill this little gap, you can either leave the gap there if you want, if you think the gap sounds good, or you can click this note here, go Command C, copy click on the rest and paste okay and I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna click here I'm gonna make this a minimum sorry a quaver and I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it there so now this phrase has a different rhythm to the first phrase so it's gonna make it sound it's gonna make it a little bit more interesting Okay, so it's building there. So you can 
what I might do now is put in a really long note. So I'm going to pick the longest note, which is um, a whole note up here, the little circle. And I'm going to press the note N. And once you press the note N, you can put that note anywhere you like. So I'm going to put it up nice and high. All right, and I'm going to see how that sounds. So I'm going to click up the top of the screen. I'm going to click back. And I'm going to click space bar. Alright, so what I might put here is some rests. So um, I'm gonna I'll show you how to put some rests in. Um, so I'm gonna click this note here and I'm gonna put two of those notes in. Now to create a rest, you put the note in and then you delete that note. Okay, so I'll I'll I'll, I'll do that again. So at the moment, there's lots of rests, so I'm going to put in two minimum notes. Okay, but to make one of them a rest, you just press escape to get out of note mode. You click the note that you want to delete, and then you press the delete button on the computer. So you can see here now there's a long note. And what I might do is I might come back down here. So I'll click black note, I'll press N for note, and then I'm going to start putting the notes in where I like it. And I might, and I'll make the last note a D. Okay. Let's have a listen to the whole thing. It's really important to listen to it regularly. Okay, so there's a nice rest there. Okay, so hopefully this has given you an idea of how to put notes in. Remember, when you're putting in notes, you press the key N for note. And once you put press the key N for note, the little note will come up and you can put any note you want and you can change it up the top. Now, I'm going to skip these bars here because uh, you're going to fill that in at home. But I want, you to, I want to show you about the last bar because on the assignment it says that you need to finish on this note which is a C. Now you can see the C is a special note because it has a little line running through the bottom. So I'm going to put the C in automatically. Now you'll notice that I've put in a C. I'm going to press escape now to get out of note mode. Now you notice that there's some rest there. So I don't want to finish with a rest. So I'm going to change this C into a longer C by clicking that button. So everyone needs to finish on this note and you need to start on this note as well. So you can see the song starts and finishes on C. That's really important if you want to get an A or a B. All right, the last thing I'm going to show you is some dotted rhythms. So let's have a listen to the melody again. All right, nice. Now, when you've got four notes that are the same length of time, they're all black notes or crotchets, I'm going to show you this button here, which is we call dotted rhythms. So the little dot there, if you click the first note, it will make that note longer and the note after it shorter. So instead of it sounding like this, all right, if I make the first one longer, I click the dot, and now the one after it is automatically shorter. So I'll do that again. I'll click this note. I'll make that longer by putting a dot next to it. That's what the dot here is and this one will be shorter. So this is what it'll sound like now. Right, so that's a really good way to get more momentum or um, it can make your piece sound a bit more flowing and a bit more elegant as well. Okay, so it goes long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, long. Okay. So, this is your assignment, okay? So your job is to finish the whole um, 16 bars. So this bit here in blue, this is what you're marked on, okay? The other bits underneath, they've been provided to you by your teachers. So as long as these chords are copied correctly, you shouldn't have a problem. 
Okay. So, remember, you need to feel all of this in blue. That's what you're being marked on for this assignment. And it needs to sound catchy and it needs to sound memorable. It shouldn't sound too random. Okay, if you listen to mine again, you'll see that it's quite easy to remember. Da 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 So I can actually sing that even without looking at the program. Okay, because I because it's it it sounds smooth and the notes um, are very catchy and memorable. Alrighty, let's pretend like I've finished my assignment, so I'm ready to submit on Google Classroom. So, this is how you sub, um, actually what I'll do is, actually I won't put that in this video, I'm going to make a separate video on how to submit. Uh, so this will be um, the end of this tutorial and there will be another video which will show you how to submit. Alright, good luck and hope to see you back at school.